from what I'm hearing here, it sounds uh, pretty good. So this is where I stopped before. I still get a nice good uh, audio feed. So what you saw was a preview of the SmartMic Plus Bluetooth wireless microphone made by Sabinatech. It's a, a pretty cool mic that's not only good for indoor sound recordings, but for outdoors as well. It comes in this nicely presented little box, and on the upper right corner, it states that the product was awarded two honorary statuses at the CES in 2020 for headphone personal audio and mobile device accessories. Inside of the box you get the SmartMic Plus device and here on the side is all of the accessories that come included which are a mini dead cat, a foam mic cover, a single earphone cable to listen to your audio as you record, a USB to mini USB charging cable, a very small manual that's in English and Chinese only unfortunately, and a quick start guide, which is in English, Chinese, French, German, Spanish, Japanese, and Italian. So let's go ahead and check out the mic itself. It has a small silver tab here on the bottom that you just lift up to easily remove it. Uh, it does have a sleek looking design, which I like. Uh, this here is the clip to clip it onto the neck of your shirt or on the front pocket of a sous door wherever else uh, you prefer. Over here on the side is the on and off button. On the top of it is the microphone recorder. On the top of that is the earphone jack. Over here is a small indicator light, which turns red and blue when it's fully charged and it blinks on and off when it's low on battery. Last on the bottom, you have the mini USB slot for charging it. The SmartMic Plus works together with the SmartMic Plus app, which is available on iOS and Android, and you can uh, download that directly from the App Store or Google Play Store. To get started, you first turn on the SmartMic Plus by pressing and holding down on the red button for about two to three seconds. Now go into your phone settings and turn on the Bluetooth option and connect to the Smart Mic Plus. Now you can open up the app on your device. Just make sure that you uh, also allow the app permissions to your phone's camera and microphone. The app's user interface is very simple and easy to use, and it also has some very nice features that I think are very useful for audio recording. So let me uh, quickly run through them here. So right here is where all of your recorded clips are stored. This is the camera swap icon. This here is a teleprompter option, which is really cool and ideal for those who prefer to read from a written script while recording their videos. These are your Pro Tool settings. This is the filter tool where you have a selection of different filters to choose from and on the bottom is a beauty option with a scale from 0 to 20. Now, I'm not sure what it does, I believe it, it just uh, blends it, sharpens or unsharpens the uh, image. And over here is the camera settings. You have your resolution, video frame rates, video bit rates, anti-shake, video file formats, grids for those who prefer using them, your image scale, device management, frequently asked uh, questions, help and feedback, and the about section. So let me do a quick indoor recording to show you guys how the audio from the Smart Mic Plus sounds compared to the microphone from my uh, iPhone. All right, so this is an audio check. One, two, check. One, two, three, check. And this is the audio coming directly from the microphone of my iPhone. 
Alright, so this is the audio that's going to come out from the Smart Mic Plus. I'm going to clip it on and I'll show you guys how it sounds. Audio check. One, two. One, two, three. Audio check. This is the audio sound that is coming out directly from the Smart Mic Plus indoors. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take it outside to do some outdoor audio testing. All right, so here we are outside with the Smart Mic Plus. It's kind of uh, windy today again, and I have my phone on a wobbly tripod, unfortunately. Actually, a uh, monopod. Uh, so, yeah, the video might be shaky. But anyway, moving on, I also brought with me the earphone piece so I can monitor the sound coming out from the mic itself. And being that it's windy, I'll do a uh, test with the uh, dead cat. So yeah, anyway, let's uh, proceed here. So first I'm gonna do a recording just with the phone so you can hear the difference between the two just like I did indoors. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm gonna walk away from the camera one second and uh, just keep on talking to you guys and see how it sounds as I move further away from the uh, microphone on the phone. All right, so testing, testing one, two. All right, so now I'm recording audio. I have the Smart Mic Plus set up. Uh, I have it clipped onto my uh, hoodie. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk towards the same place that I walked to before and see how it sounds as I walk away from the camera. All right, here I go. Now this one is without the uh, dead cat mounted on the mic. I also have the earpiece uh, on my ear to monitor the audio. From what I'm hearing here, it sounds uh, pretty good. So this is where I stopped before. I still get a nice good uh, audio feed. I mean, it sounds decent to my ears here. So I'm gonna walk further and see how far I can go uh, until the audio cuts out. So I'm going to continue walking here. But uh, now, if you can see, this is how far I am. 20 meters, 15 to 20 meters away from the camera. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on the here. So I don't know how that would work. Yeah, I, so unfortunately you can't put on the cover with the earpiece. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove to put on All right, so it seems like I lost uh, audio feed to the microphone at around 20 meters, uh, as you saw.
Well, there you have it, guys. The Smart Mic Plus wireless Bluetooth microphone by Sabinatech. I personally think that this little mic is perfect for those who do a lot of video vlogs, being that you can quickly and easily get really good audio recorded onto your videos directly from your phone. Now, I did notice that indoors, uh, it doesn't sound as clear and crisp as uh, when recording outdoors. The audio sounded a bit, I don't know, uh, robotic with a little bit of distortion to me. But then again, it might just be me. Overall, I did like this mic and I found the app to be really easy to navigate through and understand, which is uh, very important. I'll definitely be using it from time to time, depending on when I need it. I uh, left a link below in the video description where you can purchase it. Anyway, that one's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe, and all of that other stuff. With that said, I'll see you all on the next one. Thank you.